All right, well, it is, as Rick is pointing out there, cold and flu season right now with all of this cold weather and the germs all over the place, kids sneezing. It may seem unavoidable to you, but other than washing your hands all the time and just hoping for the best, there are some surprising things that you can do and even eat to protect yourself. Now, I can get behind that. Joining us now is naturopathic doctor and certified nutritionist, Dr. Lindsay Duncan. I don't know that I've ever said that. Nat did I say that right? You did. All right. Uh -huh. That's the first time for everything. <laughs> naturopathic. So I guess we're talking all things that are natural and ways we can prevent the flu and cold. Correct. So Prevent and fight. While you, if you have the flu and cold, you can mitigate that. With just some of the things that we can buy in the store yes. and eat for dinner. Okay, let's start down here with something we have for breakfast, the OJ. Let's start with the orange juice. Well, everybody knows that orange juice is high in vitamin C, but it only has 100% a, a of the daily value of vitamin C. And what we want is we want to get more. We want to get 200% or more. This is an orange juice product that has B vitamins, but it also has 200% of the daily value of vitamin C, but it has protein and it has fiber in it. So it's called Omega Orange. Is Omega the Orange, I've never yes. heard of that. Yeah, so. and it, well, it's, it's only been on the market for about four weeks. Wow. Yeah, and okay. it's only available at Walmart. So it also contains uh, the omega fatty acids as well? Yeah, and that feeds the immune system. That's fuel for the immune system, DHA. DHA is to the immune system what calcium is to the bones. Zinc, you also say, is an important component of uh, preventing sick, and it also kills, does it kill the flu or kill the cold right away? Zinc can kill the cold or flu if it's administered early. And some of these foods that you have here have zinc in them, which I was surprised by. So you have, what, some of this, is it cashews? It's, this? it's a mixture of nuts and seeds. Oysters. So you have a plate of oysters here, a bowl of oysters. That's a little hard to convince you someone. Try no, one. No, no, no. <laughs> if they're a little sick and you're starting to feel ill, the one thing you want to grab right, is an right, oyster. But right, uh, all right, right, go for it. Uh -huh. And then protein, like chicken or fish, has zinc. And then uh, you can get zinc now in chews, chew form. So the vitamin Z, uh, Z with zinc chew which, tablets, which has fifty percent of the daily value of vitamin uh, of zinc and two hundred percent of wow. vitamin C and echinacea, the herb echinacea. Next on your list here, garlic, garlic and uh, glucothion. Uh, glutathione. <laughs> Not even close. Yeah. Glutathione. <laughs> what, is, what is that? Okay, that, that is an active antioxidant compound that the human body manufactures, and it's inside the cells. And that's what's so important, because most antioxidants are outside the cells. Glutathione is inside the cells. It's like a piece of tape, and its viruses will stick to it. Bacteria will stick to it, and it r removes them from the body. So it's like a lint brush. Correct. All right. Very, yeah. uh, that I can wrap my head around. Yeah. R Rick just gave me the skunk eye for that lint brush reference. Uh, Brussels sprouts, avocado, uh, watermelon, oranges, peaches, they all have this glutathione. In it. All loaded with glutathione. Filled with and the so lint And so does brush. garlic. Beta carotene. I always heard about beta carotene being good for such things as eyesight and other things, but Correct. a great way to fight a cold and flu. Beta carotene converts to vitamin A, and vitamin A is critical for the human immune system. And so the best way to get your beta carotene is from foods. So carrots, uh, gourds, what do you use? Squash? squash, mango, sweet potato. Great. Anything orange is high in beta carotene. Now, before we uh, came to this segment, you were telling me that this is perhaps one of the most disgusting things you could probably, because it, it tastes terrible, right, but, right. It's, but it's really powerful. Yes. What is this? Oregano Oregano juice? oil. Oregano oil. <laughs> Oregano oil. And it, and it fights uh, a virus, a uh, flu, uh, bacteria. Parasites, amoebas, everything. And it will kill the flu virus by, by taking this? Well, it takes a while, yes. I mean, it's not gonna, you're not going to take it and the flu will be gone in a day, but it, it builds the body up and begins to kill the flu virus, yes. Now, finally, this is fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. Use heat to kill the virus. Mm -hmm. You say use a hair dryer and some Epsom salt, get inside mm -hmm. the bath mm -hmm. and overheat yourself, mm -hmm. is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does your body do when it gets sick? It, what is it? everybody's body do when they get sick what does everybody what's the one thing that they have in common mm, they get a uh, cold they get fever they, they get a fever the fever is the body's natural ability to begin to heat up and burn out the cold or the flu. Ah. What we do in the naturopathic world is we teach people how to induce a fever. And the way you do that is you get a bathtub, right. fill it full of hot water, submerge your body in it, put Epsom salts in it. And overheat breathe, it. Overheat, go into the bed, put lots of blankets, lots of warm-ups on, you'll start sweating. We we're out of time, but we're going to have all of this on our website. So if you missed any of these great tips, go to foxnews.com. Thanks so much, Doc. I appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely.